So now we're going to learn extrude cut. So it's like a Boolean difference. Um, so to do this, I'll introduce center line. Center line are like, are like construction line or um, uh, guideline. They are just line dashed that are here to help you out. They won't be part of the. I just right click and when select. They won't be part of the of the drawing. So now I can start drawing, and I'll show you how to make from one way of making a, something symmetrical. So we could do, we could draw this. Once again, I forgot to switch to centimeters. Instead of going here, you can also double click. It does the same thing usually. Uh, smart dimension sketch. So we'll make this two. This one could be one five. Um, then we'll do the one underneath. Actually. Because of that thickness, this could be easy to. Wow. And uh, did I miss something? This should be enough to. Uh, so now I can select those using Shift, and I can use Mirror Entity. So all of those lines are here, and the symmetry line, the mirror about, is this line. So now it does a symmetry. And now I can select those one, shift click those one. All of the green thing that appear, it's called relation. This is what make everything parametric. Meaning if I change this, this will change. We can delete them, we can hide them. Um, we can delete only some of them, but I'll show you that later. Uh, so line. Now I can remember in SOLIDWORKS this is not valid because you got two points non connected. So here could just be one straight line. You could just press delete, delete what you don't need, and, uh, and do a straight line. But here actually I want to go down. So that's okay. So I'm pressing L. So I can also do dimension with angle. If you click here and click on the other one, you'll, uh, let me do this again. It's because I click on the point. Be careful with the smart dimension. You want to click on the line. And so here we could say uh, 40 degree. And now all of them would be 40 because it's a mirror. Uh, we could also dimension this one. Uh, but because I got the 40, it's not really important here. But we could go to to get an even number that look very thick, but uh, let's go to the point. Um, if we're going to machine this, this should be enough, even 3D print. Uh, if it was for jewelry and you're going to 3D print out of wax and then cast it, when you buff it, all of this will get uh, a bit of a fillet. But if it's purely for rendering, then you might need to introduce some uh, even micro fillet. That would make your uh, drawing much more believable, like this. So I'm using point one, so it's very, very small. Voila, cancel. Then we could extrude this. Here we could say how long is that beam. So we'll go a bit longer, uh, 25, voila. And now if I need to have some holes from the top, 
what I could do here is select this face, control 8 and uh, we could draw a center line there's many things we could do here uh, i'll show you i'll draw a center line here we could actually draw it would have been smarter a center line at the midpoint usually i do my fillet last i just realized i should have done the fillet after but it's all because now I'm not exactly halfway, I'm halfway starting after the fillet. So I'll do another center line. Here. Then I'll do some circle. I'll select all of them using shift and I'll create a relation here one of those green little things I'll go equal you can also do it here uh, so now if I dimension one they will be the same so if I go one centimeter they are all one something else I need to do um, I might need to, uh, I know this is halfway, but I might need to do a dimension from here to the edge. And maybe I'll go one. from here to the edge. And I'll do it. We could have done another center line here, actually. Uh, actually, one looks a bit short, but go one way. So I double click. What we can do it's an extrude cut and blind mean uh, it's just the number that you're using so here if i go five it will be only a hole from the top i say okay we only get that hole from the top but um, if i edit this instead i can use through all both that means even if we change the design it will always go through everything Okay, now if, we, if we're planning to do rendering, we could also do some micro fillet here. Um, if we need some chamfer, we can go chamfer here. This is feature, you're in 3D, and we'll make them very small. This is a very quick way of doing a countersink, like this. I'm just picking on the one edge. And the more I think about it, I don't need this one. Actually, I do, because if we uh, bolt it, uh, it depends on where it gets bolted. Um, in this case, we'll bolt it from here. Just so we can see that rendering. Voila. And we'll do some very tiny fillet now. Uh, we could do 0 0.12, even maybe just smaller than that. So this is 3D fillet. Huh? And I select the whole thing. Uh, I don't know if I need fillet within the hole. That's why sometimes selecting the whole thing might be a bit too much. If it's just for rendering, I think it'll be okay. In real life, you don't really need those micro fillet. But like I said, if you're going to render this part, um, I still don't think we need, you need those two, but uh, so I could actually edit this, find which one they are, get rid of them, or I could just redo it too, or maybe use even a smaller one here. 
but the shear point one per equal with the rest of the tip. F to frame, voila. And you can always select this, control eight, and now you can use the arrow on the keyboard also to display the part. Voila.